Myron Bennett, if we talk in wide receiver trades, why not Henry Renfro? Separation has been a critic of our group without Deontay. Him mm-hmm. in the slot with DJ back would solve that. He was one of the names on my uh, trade list. Yeah? I wouldn't mind that at all. They don't use him at all out there. You want to get into some of the names? Bob wow, Renfro's one. We could talk him. Yeah, let's talk real quick, man. We can talk real quick. Get a little around the league real quick. Let me talk a little, Listen, a little bit. Listen, if they'd be willing to take on a good portion of his contract, Cause he's, I'd say why not? He was 15, right? 15 per year? Or was he 14 per year? It was in that range. Yeah, I remember double when he's, he was one of the first ones to get digits. the deal. Yeah, I think he has one more year left. Mm-hmm. Could be a cap casualty situation, but I think he'd still have to take on a decent portion of dead cap. I, I could double check yeah. it as we go through this, but for sure. In terms of just being a complete receiver, guy that has had success in the slot and getting separation, mm-hmm. being a QB friendly target, he does that. I don't know why the Raiders haven't been featuring him at all. Is he healthy? Uh, I'm not sure. But is it because that's the only thing I could think of? Well, all right. So I did watch a whole Raiders video. It was like a Raiders like fan analyst yeah, yeah. or something on uh-huh. YouTube that was breaking down why they're not utilizing Hunter Renfro like they did whenever like Gruden was the coach. Right. They got him running a bunch of different routes. They don't have him doing stuff closer to the line of scrimmage gotcha. like five yards Where out. Sending around the ball. Yeah. Right? Now they're like sending him on like full routes, ten, fifteen yards down the field, and yeah, it's just I guess it's That's just a not working. Style, he's just, yeah. yeah, he's not. Featured in their offense. Yeah. Like, he's still getting playing time, not mm-hmm. to the same extent, but he's out there and he's just not getting targeted. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Man. I don't think he's hurt, though. You were just, you were legitimately asking, yeah, like, is he hurt? because my thing is, I'm like, I don't think yeah, he Hunter's definitely talented, man. Mm. Talk about creating separation. He is one of them slot receivers that creates a ton of separation. He can do it in a hurry when healthy. Um, Scott Avon, heck, did bring up the fact Jacoby Myers is out there. He's on my fantasy that's true team. Too. He's been cooking. He's definitely been cooking this year. So that also probably is at play. Yeah. So we had Devontae Adams, Jacoby Myers. Yeah, because when Ren- when Renfro made that Pro Bowl, wasn't it just like him and Waller? Waller, yeah. That was before they got Adams. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you're right. They brought in Adams. They trade for the yeah. Patriot Connect with McDaniels yep. and Jacoby Myers. Yeah. All right, so yeah, dead cap wouldn't be bad for Renfro next year. It'd be $5.5 million. His cap hits 13.7. Eh. That's still his cap hit this year's thirteen. Now I don't know again if a trade happens, what portion of yeah. that we would have to take on. So if Raiders were able to take on a fair amount of his contract, now, now, do you I, I think would do it's it. necessary though, even though we got Calvin Austin here? That's the thing, with Deontay coming back. It's a good question. Because that's my Maybe only you give hiccup. it time. Maybe you give it time because trade deadlines yeah. what? End of October, first mm-hmm. week of November. We got about three weeks. See yeah. how the offense looks like with the other receivers once Deontay comes back. Okay. If we if we can't find that solid three, maybe you do make the trade. Yeah. If Calvin Austin isn't developing like we're hoping, mm-hmm. fully like we got the big play from him. Remember we talked yes. about it. We got mm-hmm. the big play, but we still need some more. I need yeah. more of that big stuff. Or just more consistency yeah. out of him. And he's having flashes. There is a on occasion where you'll see some glimpses of it. And it's like, all right. But just because he's young, you just need more of it, more consistency with it. He's very talented, though, and that's the exciting part. That's why I'm kind of like, if we bring in Hunter, I do feel like Hunter plays more now, but I do think that hurts Calvin a little bit because it's going to stunt his growth. And I don't know if I would necessarily want to do that. I kind of like this idea of him growing with Kenny, growing with Pickens, growing with DJ. And I just think like... And you got an Allen Robinson. And he missed all of last year already. So I'm like, I got my vet. Now, I do think Hunter would give me a little bit more at this stage than Allen Robinson with ball in his hand. I right. think Hunter gives me a little bit more with that. But in terms of having the veteran in the room that can create separation, I do think Allen Robinson has been giving us that consistently. And when Deontay comes back, that's going to alleviate a lot of the Allen Robinson pressure. Because right now, GP is getting number one corners. Allen Robinson is getting number two corners. When his DJ come back, all that bumps down. And that's the part for Allen where I think that we'll see him even have an uptick in productivity along with GP and Calvin, potentially. Yeah, it's fair. Don't know if it's needed. Yeah. I like him, though. Could help. I definitely like Could his help, name, though, but man. If Austin does develop and the fact that we're getting DJ back, it, it, yeah, it might be overkill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like I said, it just depends on what we're trying to do. If we're 
exclusively focused on winning this season, regardless of what it would do next season and going forward, right. then you make the move. You bring in Hunter Renfro. You say, hey, Calvin, F your feelings, F your development, figure it out on your own time, and we're going to go with this thing. But that is going to have a negative effect on this dude, being that he did not play at all last year. And here we are five games in and already, you know, drastically minimizing his role by bringing in a guy that does exactly, you know, what we would be looking for him to do in terms of being that slot guy, creating separation. So, yeah. Yeah, the thing Austin does that Renfro doesn't is obviously take the top Correct. off of defense. But Correct. I think what this offense is looking for more right now is some quicker completions mm -hmm. to help Kenny out and help get this offense yeah. – moving at a better rate yeah and Renfro and can that do that Renfro, Renfro does that at a very high level man that's why he's been compensated like that that's why he's been viewed how he's viewed like that yeah